We're back up at Craig's working on the 71 and I'm excited to show you where we're at and what we're gonna be doing this weekend. What's going on guys, Medivet right here, Lethal Garage and we are up here at Craig's with the 71 once again and we've made some progress. You can see we've been working on the roof here, got a lot of the waviness out of it, got it filled in, uh, but really the entire car, a lot of the major issues, this whole quarter, if you remember, there was lots of holes all down in here. The back end was all buckled in. This is all smooth and looking good. And we're really at a point now where all of the, the fill portion of the bodywork is done. And now we're gonna do basically our first coat of feather fill to get this bad boy blocked out. Now, the car's on its final suspension for the most part. So we need to do a lot of taping. If you recall, the bottom of the vehicle is done. So we need to tape that off because we don't want to get gray feather fill all on parts and pieces that we don't want it on. Like we'll also tape up the inside of the door panels and all that stuff as well. But the car's coming along quite nicely and it's really exciting to get it to this point because we can finally do a full blocking on the car and see how much more work we have ahead of us. And I, I think I need to take the door handles off at this point, but <clears throat> I'm really excited where we're at, but I'm just gonna do some fast motion as I start taping it off. I'm gonna start with the inside of the engine bay and then we'll work and we'll probably actually roll out Mike's car and get this car up on the lift so we can tape off the bottom appropriately, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm well into taping things off. I've gotten underneath and I started taping off all the suspension bits, all while still making sure they can function. So if we need to roll the car and turn and all that kind of stuff, it will still work. But um, now I'm just taping off the upper side to really make sure we have a good seal. But you can see, just, oh, I'm not very good at this. I've never really taped off a car. I'm just trying to think of the areas that we're gonna have to feather fill and just, covering off everything that doesn't need to be touched currently. So that's kind of what I've been working on. You can see this side here, just trying to protect all the suspension components and the powder coated subframe. I just, I don't want to sit there with acetone or a cleaner and try to get all this gray feather fill off pieces that are finished. So that's, that's kind of the reasoning. Call me crazy. Got some green headlights. Now I gotta pull them out because we're gonna align the front end better. But Craig decided to put more filler. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a filling fool. Craig likes cars looking good. You gotta show me a car that don't have filler that looks good. Yeah. Better look at the roof. Three, three coats. Got rid of all the dips and everything but the overall goal is to just get it all prepped so we can feather fill all of it yeah i sealed off that door to finally stop all the powder from getting on the inside so apologies i didn't take a lot of video of today's shenanigans but i'll show you what happened so overall the car got quite a few more coats of filler where the door and the fenders come together on both sides so you can see we're just about there I also started beating the heck out of the front end, lining up some of the panels. We got this front fender to line up a little bit better, tucked in better, uh, but we're gonna have to roll this because it's like the body line almost disappeared when they rolled this corner right here. So yeah, it is what it is. But these doors are, and the fenders transitions are looking really good. It's a shame we still don't have the hood because that's the wild card and that can, that can be scary, huh? You, so it's it's gonna be it is what it is or i don't know but we did a lot of taping off both doors are now covered so they won't get filled up with uh fondo and filler and feather light and all that stuff i wrapped the steering wheel as well 
But I mean, the big thing is, again, on the rear end, rear end, the back panel trunk, everything is basically done. So you can see, I know it's dark, but just nice, smooth lines, everything looking super clean. Really happy with how that's turned out. So the next coat, our next step is just a little more sanding, maybe a little, a couple more passes on filler, and then feather filling the car and blocking it down with 150. So really looking forward to seeing that, have the car all one color again. It's been a while, but uh, oh, this, is, this is a process. As I mentioned in the previous videos, this is, this is why they fast forward these portions because it's literally just rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat until everything's looking good. And it's not the funnest thing to watch, but it's a process you have to go through. But that's it. That's all today's video. Hopefully next video we'll be showing you a car that's mostly one color. I think that will really change the perception and the way everything's looking. Can't wait for that. It could still be a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what Craig's able to pull off. See if he's a magician. So he said he might put some hours into it tomorrow, get it prepped, and we just got to get the rest of the taping off on the bottom. So all that being said, that's all I got today. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. See you on the road.